हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मैकेनिज्म ऑफ हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जनरेशन स्टेटस एंड पोटेंशियल इन इंडिया बेनिफिट्स ऑफ हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी डिसएडवांटेजेस और चैलेंजेस इन हाइड्रो पावर जनरेशन मेजर्स टेकन टू प्रमोट हाइड्रो पावर इन इंडिया एंड वे फॉरवर्ड so first of all let's have a look at the introduction of the topic conventional sources of energy are the energy that is naturally available in nature natural gas coal oil thermal power plants hydroelectricity are some of the examples of conventional sources of energy among these sources hydroelectricity is considered to be clean and an efficient source of energy for long term use Now let's discuss about mechanism of hydroelectricity generation. When water is at a height, it has potential energy stored in it. When this water flows down, its potential energy is first converted to kinetic energy and then to mechanical energy with the help of turbines. With the use of a generator, the mechanical energy is transformed into electrical energy. Hydropower is essential only next to thermal power. Now let's discuss about its status and potential in India. The first hydroelectric power project in India was started in Darjeeling in 1898. At present India's total installed power capacity is 407.797 gigawatt as of 30 September 2022. Out of this only 11.5% or 46.85 gigawatt is coming from hydroelectric power projects. Hydro power projects are classified as large and small hydro projects based on their sizes. In India hydro power plants with capacity of 25 megawatt or below are classified as small hydro projects. Plant capacity up to 3 megawatt and later in 1999 up to 25 megawatt was transferred to the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Hydro power from small or mini hydro projects was assessed by Hydro and Renewable Energy Department in 2016. The estimated potential was 21,133 megawatt from 7,133 sites for power generation in the country. The hilly states of India mainly Arunachal, Himachal, Jammu and Kashmir and Uttarakhand constitute around half of this potential. Other potential states are Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Karnataka and Kerala. The hydro power potential small and large of India is around 145 gigawatt. Now moving on to benefits of hydroelectricity. Emit less greenhouse gases than traditional fossil fuel plants. Do not emit polluting suspended particulate matter. Is a renewable resource, reasonably reliable and they have less cost of power generation over long period. Disadvantages or challenges of hydroelectricity sedimentation makes the flood management in the reservoir more difficult hydropower projects may cause loss of flora and fauna and large scale displacement agricultural land could be submerged hydropower plants have large upfront capital cost they are very location specific climate change has driven erratic weather patterns like increased snowfall and rainfall Environmental clearance would remain necessary for HEPs. Several HEPs were dropped or had their design and capacity modified due to environmental considerations. Parameters like e-flow, free flow stretch, eco-sensitive zone, impact on wild flora and fauna are now better defined. Due to inaccessible locations, HEPs require the development of roads and bridges for project implementation. Measures taken to promote hydro power in India declaring large hydro projects as renewable energy source tariff rationalization measures for bringing down hydro power tariff budgetary support for flood moderation or storage hydroelectric projects budgetary support to cost of enabling infrastructure that is roads bridges etc hydro purchase obligation that is hpo trajectory for the period 2021-22 to 2029-30 has also been notified Lastly let's discuss about the way forward it is recommended that there should be no hydro power development beyond an elevation of 2200 meter in the himalayan region recently government of india said that no new hep's would be allowed in the upper reaches of the ganga and development of hydro power is essential for the sustainable growth of the economy but in a more ecological manner 
Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims question. Consider the following statements regarding hydropower. One HEPs up to 25 megawatt are classified as small HEPs. Two small HEPs are considered as renewable energy source. Three HEPs up to 25 megawatt comes under Ministry of Power. Which of the above statement or statements is or are correct? One and two only, two and three only, one and three only, or one, two and three. And now mains question. Access to affordable, reliable, sustainable, and modern energy is the sine qua non to achieve sustainable development goals. Comment on the progress made in India in this regard. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.